Hi, welcome to a tutorial on percentage from careerright.com. Percentage is one of the fundamentals of quantitative aptitude and hence placement test, job interviews and all competitive exams generally have 4 to 5 sums in various formats related to percentage. In this video, we learn how to tackle percentage sums easily and score in exam. For practice, you can go to careerright.com which has 1000 plus aptitude questions for you. So let's start with percentage. First, let us understand what do we mean by percentage. Percentage has only two simple meanings. One is percentage means part. That means a part of something. Okay. And percentage has the symbol. This is the symbol of percentage and it means divide by 100. This is, these are the only two meanings of percentage that we need to know to solve the sums. Okay. Percentage very simply means a part and percentage means divide by 100. So if someone says uh, this is 25%, it would simply be 25 divided by 100. This percentage symbol means divide by 100. And what do you mean by percentage means part? For example, this is a biscuit. Okay. Now this is a whole biscuit. This is an entire biscuit. If someone says give me uh, say 30% of the biscuit. So you'll uh, remove some part and give it to the other person. So a part of the whole is nothing but percentage of the whole. The entire part is 100%. Percentage is always take considered to be 100. An entire thing, a whole thing is always 100%. And when we say 10%, 20%, then we remove 10%, 20% from this whole thing. Like here, we gave 30% of the biscuit, right? For example, if uh, let us say that there, there is a tank and it has say some water in it. The total amount of water in the tank is 80 liters. If someone says give me 10% uh, of the water, what does that mean? The person wants 10% of 80 liters. That means 10% of 80 liters, right? Meaning of of is multiplication. Meaning of percentage is divide by 100. So what do we get? 10 upon 100 of means multiplication and we have 80 liters over here. So this gets cancelled, this gets cancelled. So what do we get? 8 liters. That means the person wants 10% of the 80 liters or 10% of the water means the person wants 8 liters of water. This is the actual meaning of percentage. That means a part of a a whole or if someone wants the whole thing, if someone wants the entire 80 liters, that means the person wants 100% of the water or 100% of the thing. See how simple the concept of percentage is. When we solve more and more sums, uh, you will become more acquainted with the concept of percentage. It is very important to understand percentage because it is important from point of view of discounts. Then there's a, a chapter on profit and loss. We need it for that. Again, there are many sections in quantitative aptitude that need percentage to be clear. Okay. Now let's see what are some of the common percentages that we uh, see and what do uh, what are they called? Common percentages. Let us say this is a piece of bread. This is an entire bread. Okay. Now the, this whole thing, what do we call it? This is nothing but 100% that we have seen. This is nothing but whole one, that is one entire bread. Now if, if someone says, give me half a bread, right? So how much percent bread should we give to that person? That is half of 100%. What does that mean? Half of 100%. Of means multiplication, that is 50%. That means 50% means half. Same way if someone says give me one third, then it would be 1 by 3 into 100%. That would be 33.3333 going on percent or we can express it as 33 1 by 3 percent. So 33 1 third percent is nothing but one third of the object. If someone says give me one fourth of the object, right? So what it would be 
वन बाय फोर इन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो इफ समन वॉन्ट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट जस्ट गिव दैट पर्सन वन फोर्थ ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट सो इफ समन से इज लेट से समन वॉन्ट्स टेन परसेंट ऑफ द ब्रेड हाउ मच यू विल गिव सो एंटायर इज हंड्रेड परसेंट आउट ऑफ दैट द पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टेन परसेंट सो लेट अस सी हाउ मच वील गेट ओके वी नीड दिस फ्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड परसेंट इक्वल टू टेन परसेंट सो दिस फ्रैक्शन वुड बी वन अपॉन टेन सो वेन अ पर्सन वॉन्ट्स वन टेंथ ऑफ द ब्रेड दैट मीन्स दैट पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टेन परसेंट ऑफ द ब्रेड इफ समन वॉन्ट्स वन फोर्थ ऑफ द ब्रेड द पर्सन वॉन्ट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द ब्रेड दे इज अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इफ समन वॉन्ट्स वन फिफ्थ ऑफ द ब्रेड देन दैट मीन्स द पर्सन वॉन्ट्स ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ब्रेड सो दीज आर द कॉमन वैल्यूज associated with percentage half means 50% one third is 33 one by 3 one fourth is 25% one tenth is 10% one fifth is 20% there are few more values let's note them down what is 3 by 4 3 by 4 is nothing but one fourth this is one fourth this is three times that is 25% plus 25 plus percent plus 25% that is nothing but 75% If someone wants one by eight amount of bread, right? So what is that? One by eight is nothing but hundred percent divided by twelve point five percent. So these are common percentages and they are corresponding fractions. So just remember it. So sometimes in percentages sums, like word problems on percentages, someone might say that this so and so person has these many things. So Uh, out of that, that person gives out half of the things. So how many, how much percent of the things remain? So we should know half is gone. That means fifty percent is gone. Fifty percent is gone. That means fifty percent remains, right? So this is very easy. Now next, let us see how to calculate percentages very easily. Here we know that percentage is nothing but multiplication, right? Let us see another technique to calculate percentages easily. Let's see. how to find percentages very quickly okay now over here let us take a value say uh, 260 right now what is this this is 100% now if someone says give me 10% of 260 so what we'll do 10% of 260 that would be 10 upon 100 multiplied of is multiplied into 260 this gets cancelled this gets cancelled you get 26 See, this is easy, but there is another easier method to calculate percentages like ten percent, one percent, etc. What is that? Let's see. Two hundred and sixty. What is this? This is hundred percent. What do we want? Ten percent, right? That means one zero is less. If one zero is less from from hundred percent to ten percent, one zero is less. This zero is not there. If one zero is less, what you should do? You just you just need to put a decimal point from right hand side. Okay. So right hand side one zero is less from right hand side. Let's put one decimal point. This is one. So what do we get? Twenty six point zero. That is nothing but twenty six. This becomes ten percent of two hundred and sixty. See how easy it was. Take any other example. Say we take six five four seven nine four. Take this number. What is ten percent of this? Simply put one decimal point. This is ten percent. Right now let us take again. A example of three hundred and fifty. Now, if someone wants twenty percent, what you will do? You will simply. What is twenty percent? What is twenty percent? That is nothing but two into ten percent. That is two times ten percent. So find ten percent. Ten percent of three fifty is put a decimal point. You get thirty five multiplied by two. Thirty five into two is nothing but seventy. So seventy is nothing but twenty percent of. 350 see how easily if you know 10% you can find out 20% 30% 40% and all that stuff now again let's take uh, another example 693 okay this example find out 1% of this this is what this is 100% we want 1% that is there are there are two zeros less from right hand side so put in two decimal places first decimal place Second decimal place. Put it over here. So six point nine three is one percent of six ninety three. See, you found out one percent, ten percent, twenty percent. Let's move on to a little bit difficult number. Okay, or difficult value. Say we have as usual over here. We have two sixty and we want 
39 percent of this now what to do very easy no need to panic 39 percent 39 is nearer to 40 right so first find 40 percent why let's see why okay so let's let's calculate here somewhere at the top okay so we'll have space so 260 what is 10 uh, we want 40 percent how to calculate 40 percent first calculate 10 percent 260 10 percent is 26 multiply by 40 4 6 are 4 6 are 24 4 2 are 8 2 1 0 4 right is nothing but 40 percent of 260 now what do we want we want 39 percent what is 39 percent 39 percent is nothing but 40 percent minus 1 percent now what is 1 percent of 260 1 percent of 260 is 2.6 because we put in two decimal places 2.6 so 104 minus 2.6 that would be 101.4 this is 39 percent of 260 see how orally and very quickly we were able to find out to uh, what is 39 percent of 260 otherwise you will have to do longer divisions and all that stuff so use this trick if someone wants 63 percent look at the left hand side corner if someone wants 63 percent what you'll do find 60 percent add 3 percent into it what is 3 percent find 1 percent multiply by 3 what is 60 percent find 10 percent multiply by 6 see how easy it was no uh, no issues over here very 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 easy trick just remember this it would be very useful in exam to solve sums quickly now let's move on to some sums related to percentage question number one 56 percent of y is 182 what is y very very easy sum let's see you know percentage means what divide by 100 off means what multiplication so what they are saying 56 divided by 100 multiplied by y 56 percent of y is 182 we want to find the value of y simply take it over here okay divide by 56 56 this is 56 uh, let's say divide by 2 what you will get you will get 28 over here 91 over here let's try uh, some other number this is divisible by 7 7 4 are 7 1 the 7 21 13 100 divided by 4 what will we get 4 3 are 12 10 2s are 8 25 325 is the answer why is 325 question number 2 what percent is 42 kg of 336 kg very easy to solve let's see how to solve this kind of sums now here they have given off but that does not mean multiplication okay do not multiply what they want is that there is one quantity quantity one and there is quantity 2 and how much percent is first quantity of the second quantity right now generally when we have say 25 percent or 50 percent what do we do percentage symbol means divide by 100 but here we want to find percent right there is no percentage given we want to find percent when we want to find percent we multiply by 100 so let's have 100 over here multiplication okay now how to arrange these two quantities they have given off but we should not multiply right now over here what do they mean what do they want is that 42 kg is how much part of 336 kg we have learned percentage is part if this is the bread and someone wants say 10 percent then this much percent this much amount of part would be removed right so the person wants how much of how much part is 42 kg of this 336 kg so how to write that quantity 1 which is the okay of which we want to find the percent divided by quantity 2 that is the percentage in relation to which we want the quantity in relation to which the percentage is calculated so we want percent of quantity 1 and with respect to quantity 2 right so we have 42 upon 36 into 100 that is nothing but this would be 20, uh, 14 3 za 14 2 za 28 okay this would be tw uh, 14 2 za 28 56 14 4 za 3 1 za 3 into 8 so 100 upon 8 that would be 12.5 percent so 42 kg is 12.5 percent of 336 kg 
see how easy it was there are two types either divide by 100 or multiply by 100 when we want to find percent multiply by 100 and whenever they are given two quantities okay a and b and if you want how much percent is a of b then we will have a of b multiplied by 100 and that would be our percentage right we will see some more examples of this and so this idea will become more clearer and clearer moving to next question if 15 percent of y is same as 21 percent of z then 12.5 percent of y is equal to what percent of z very easy what have they given 15 percent of y is equal to 21 percent of z then 12.5 percent of y is equal to how much percent of z simply cross multiply what do we get 15 percent into question mark equal to 21 percent into 12.5 percent now why could we uh, simply cross multiply because we had zz on one side yy on one side okay so we'll have question mark equal to 21 into 12.5 divided by 15 3 7s are 3 5s are okay 2.5 2s are 2.5 5s are 7 5s are 35 divided by 2 that would be 17.5 percent that means 12.5 percent of y is equal to 17.5 percent of z this is the answer moving to next question question number four if price of rice is 30 percent less than that of wheat then the price of wheat is how much percent more than that of rice again very easy in such sums we do not know what exactly is the price we only know the percentage so how to solve or how to approach these kind of percentage sums it is very easy always take some arbitrarily arbitrary value the best value to take while calculating percentage is 100 right so let us assume that the price of rice is rupees 100 right now they have uh, no price of wheat is rupees 100 right because they've given price of rice is 30 percent less so what would be the price of rice that would be 100 rupees minus 30 percent less 30 percent of what 30 percent of wheat's price that is nothing but 100 rupees right so 100 rupees minus 30 rupees 30 percent of 100 how to calculate 30 percent of 100 very easy two methods 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 100 so you will get 30 or 10 percent is how much 10 percent of 100 is 10 multiply three times we get 30 same answer right you will get rupees 70 now what they have given is that price of rice is 70 price of wheat is 100 that we have calculated what they have given is that price of rice that is 70 is 30 percent less than wheat then how much is price of wheat how much percent more is the price of wheat than rice we cannot simply write uh, since it is 30 percent less it would be 30 percent more no the percentage value is different let's see what exactly is the percentage value now over here we want to find out how much percent more is wheat's price than the rice price that means how much is wheat's price of rice price okay and in percentage right so this is what we see all in the previous sum right so wheat's price that is 100 rupees of the rice price that means the rice price should be in denominator so 100 a what we saw was quantity one's percentage in relation to quantity two same way price of wheat in relation to price of rice and we want the percentage so multiply by 100 what do we get this gets cancelled right we have 1000 divided by 7 7 1s are 7 30 7 4s are 28 27 2s are 14 67 8s are 56 47 5s are 35 and so on so approximately 142.85 percent see how the value of wheat is 142.85 percent times of rice now what they want they do not want how much is percentage how much is price of wheat in relation to rice what they want how much more is the percentage generally entire quantity we take it as 100 percent 100 percent is maximum correct 100 percent is maximum so how much extra is there 142.85 percent minus 100 percent 
that would be 42.85 percent more so price of wheat is 42.85 percent more than price of rice correct now there can be another sum they can give you price of rice and they say price of rice is 30 percent more than that of wheat then the price of wheat is how much percent less than that of rice you have to use the same technique uh, quantity one's price divided by quantity two's price multiplied by 100 to get the percentage Quant price of first quantity in relation to second quantity right always remember this tip that is first quantity is percentage in relation to second quantity multiplied by 100 that will give you the percentage required percentage whenever they ask what is percentage of quantity 1 in relation to quantity 2 just divide 1 by 2 into 100 that would give us percentage going to question number 5 the price of apple is first increased by 10 percent and then decreased by 10 percent what is the change in the price of apple again very easy you do not know the price so let us assume that the price of apple is 100 rupees first the price of apple was increased by 10 percent okay increased by 10 percent what is 10 percent of 100 10 rupees so now the price of the new price okay will be 100 plus 10 that is 110 rupees now the price is decreased by 10 percent what is now 10 percent of the new price that is 10 percent of 110 simply put a decimal that is rupees 11 so 11 rupees price has been reduced right so what is the new second price okay the final price 110 minus 11 that is rupees 99 what have they asked what is the change in the price of apple original price 100 rupees now 99 what is the change 100 minus 99 equal to rupee 1 so the change in price of apple is rupee 1 if you want to express it in the format of percentage what we should write how much is rupee 1 okay what percent is rupee 1 of rupees 100 we have seen in the previous sums quantity 1 percentage of quantity 1 in relation to quantity 2 right percentage of quantity 1 quantity 1 in relation to quantity 2 that is nothing but this this multiplied by 100 first quantity divided by second quantity multiplied by 100 that would be 1 percent so change in price of apple is 1 percent or rupee 1 why should we not take rupee 1 but find percentage because here we do not know the final uh, the actual value of price of apple it may be 1000 rupees 10000 rupees 5 rupees 50 rupees we do not know so we cannot take such absolute value we have assumed rupees 100 so we got rupees 1 or rupee 1 so the change which is given over there has to be calculated in percentage because they have given percentage moving to question number 6 if the price of a sugar is raised by 25 percent then by how much percent should a person reduce his consumption of sugar so that expenditure remains same now over here this might look a bit difficult but it is not it is pretty easy by common sense we can easily solve this okay what have they given expenditure which is there that should remain same okay now initially there was some expenditure later on after the change of price also there was some expenditure and both the expenditures should remain same do we know what is the price of sugar no so let us assume that price of sugar is rupees 100 per kg right? this is the rate of sugar do we know how much the person used to consume uh, earlier no we do not know so let us assume that the person used to consume 1 kg sugar only okay so what was the expenditure initially 1 kg sugar that is quantity of sugar consumed into rate of the sugar rupees 100 per kg this was the expenditure earlier now what has happened is that price increases by 25 percent initially it was 100 rupees it increased by 25 percent what is 25 percent of 100 25 percent of 100 simply it is rupees 25 so the price increases by rupees 25 so what is the new price 100 plus 25 that would be rupees 125 so new price becomes 125 do we know the new consumption no so let us assume that new consumption is c okay so let's find the value of c that would be 100 upon 125 25 fours are 25 fives are that is 0.8 kg initially the person was eating 1 kg now the person person should eat 0.8 kg how much less amount of sugar 
should be consumed by the person so the person should reduce his quantity by 0.2 kg right so that the expenditure remains same now this 0.2 kg is how much percent of 1 kg because we want how much percent the person should reduce right here the person reduces by absolute value of 0.2 kg but we want in format of percentage that is what is percentage of quantity 1 to that of quantity 2 what is it 1 by 2 into 100 right we have seen quantity 1 by quantity 2 by 100 so what would be the answer 0 0.2 divided by 1 into 100 that would be 20 percent so if the price increases by 25 percent to keep the expenditure same the consumption of sugar should reduce by 20 percent moving to next question question number seven why has to score 40 percent marks to pass he gets 20 marks and fails by 40 marks the maximum marks of the exam are let's see how to solve this okay let's say the maximum marks of the exam are m okay and uh, this is zero now to pass 40 percent marks are needed so this is let's say 40 percent okay if m is the total marks then what is 40 percent of m 40 percent of m so 40 m upon 100 right this is 40 by 100 multiplied by m so these are nothing but passing marks now y gets how many marks y gets 20 marks and he fails by how many marks he fails by 40 marks what does that mean had y got 40 marks he would have passed that means he would have got the passing marks that means 20 marks plus 40 marks which y did not get since he fails by 40 marks is nothing but the passing marks right see if a person say this is 100 okay maximum marks is 100 and 35 percent is passing let us assume and if a person gets 15 percent okay and fails by 20 marks or if a person gets 15 marks and fails by 40, uh, fails by 20 marks what does that mean the person has 15 marks and he got 20 marks less than the passing marks same way over here y gets 20 marks and fails by 40 marks that means y gets 40 marks less than the passing marks passing marks are 40 m by 100 let's calculate what do we get this upon 100 this gets cancelled okay so we have 600 divided by 4 equal to m so m is nothing but 4 ones are 4 25 150 marks so the maximum marks of the exam are 150 question number 8 a scores 10 percent and fails by 30 marks b scores 40 percent marks and gets 30 marks more than the minimum marks needed to pass the exam what are the maximum marks for the exam now this is similar sum just a step ahead let's see how to solve it now a and b are giving the same exam that means the minimum marks for both have to be same so let us say if this is the exam and maximum marks are these okay this is zero and these are maximum mark marks how much does a get a gets 10 percent of 10 a scores 10 percent that means a gets 10 percent marks 10 percent of maximum marks 10 percent of maximum marks that is nothing but 10 upon 100 multiplied by m that is 10 m upon 100 these are the marks which a receives right and it is also given that a fails by 30 marks that means a got 30 marks less otherwise a would have got passing marks if a would have got 30 marks a would have got passing marks that means what becomes the passing marks 10 m upon 100 plus 30 marks these become the passing marks right these become the passing marks now what have they given b scores 40 percent marks so b gets 40 percent of m that is 40 m upon 100 and b gets 30 marks more than minimum marks right so marks of b are how much passing marks we already know 10 m upon 100 plus 30 these are passing marks right and what have they given b gets 40 percent marks and for, and 30 marks more than the minimum marks needed to pass that means 30 marks more has been received by b so if if we take the score of b and we reduce 30 marks from b that means b will get passing marks passing marks are nothing but this did you understand over here okay 
A got 10 percent. These are passing marks. A got 10 percent and 30 marks less. B got 40 percent and 30 marks more. So if we re uh, remove 30 marks from B's uh, marks, B's 40 percent. If you remove these 30 marks, we will get passing marks. And if we add 30 marks to A's marks, A will get passing marks. Both would be equal, right? So what do we get over here? We have 10 m plus 3000 equal to 40 m minus 3000 divided by 100 divided by 100 that gets cancelled. So what do we get here? We get 6000 would be 40 m. 30 m this zero gets cancelled m equal to 200 marks. So maximum marks of the exam was 200. Let's check whether we have calculated properly or not. 10 percent of 200 is what? So A will get 20 marks. He fails by 30 marks. So 20 plus 30 is 50. So 50 is the passing marks right as per A's condition. Now B gets 40 percent marks. Okay. What is 40 percent of 200? It is nothing but 80 marks right and 30, uh, B also gets 30 marks more than minimum marks. So subtract 30. What do we get? 50. So this should be passing marks. So that is same as this. So did you understand the logic? This is nothing but both of them we have uh, what we did was that we equated passing marks. Here A got 30 marks less than passing marks. So we added and we got the passing marks. Here B got 30 marks more than passing marks. So we subtracted and we got the passing marks and we equated them. Very easy. Okay. Moving on to next sum. Question number 9. In a class, 15% of total number of students failed in science, 25% of total number of students failed in maths, 10% of total number of students failed in both. How much percent of students passed in both maths and science? Again, very, very easy sum. Uh, there's a very small technique uh, to solve this, these kind of sums. These are very popular in exams. Okay. So let us see how to solve this with a diagram. Very, it's very easy. You don't have to do anything much over here. Now, what have they given? They have given that 10, 15% of students fail in science. Let us assume these, this circle represents the number of students who failed in science. How many failed in science? 15%. This circle represents students failing in maths. How many failed? 25%. Now you will understand why I drew these circles intersecting each other. Okay. 10% failed in both subjects. So 10% will come over here. This 10% failed in science as well as maths right so that is the reason when when i drew these circles they intersected each other so these 10 percent failed in science and maths both now how much percent of students passed in both maths and science let's see what common mistake everyone does what do they do with people who passed what do they do people who passed means 100 percent is the total students minus what how many students failed we'll get the pass percentage okay this is correct. After that, what they do? They start finding out how many students failed. They what they calculate? Okay, 25% failed in science, 15% failed in maths. So total 40% students failed. Correct. So how what is the pass percentage? They take 100 minus 40 equal to 60%. So 60% students pass both in maths and science. Very wrong. This is the wrong answer. This is the wrong approach. You need to see that there is a 10% given over here. These students failed both science and maths. So what happens is that this when you count 15%, you are counting this 10% also. And when you are counting 25%, you are counting this 10% also. So 10% is getting counted here. 10% is there. Here 10% is there. Look at that. Look at the right hand side. Here 10% is there. Here 10% is there. That means there is double counting. So we have to remove one 10%. So how many students failed? First 15% science, right? Then 25% maths. Okay. Now 10% has been counted two times. Once over here, once over here. So remove one 10%, right? What you will get? 40 minus 10 equal to 30%. So 30% students failed. How many passed? 100% minus 30% is 70%. 70% students passed in both science and maths. Moving to next question. Question number 10. Buy 20% decrease in the price of rice. People can buy 10 kg more rice in rupees 100. What is the original price of 1 kg of rice? 
now again very very easy sum let's see how to solve it it is similar to the consumption sum which we saw earlier okay but let's solve this again as a new sum let's not rely on anything on previously okay now do we know original price of rice 1 kg of rice original rate no let us assume that original rate of rice is t rupees p per kg okay now what have they given is that initially in 100 rupees people were used to buy people could buy some amount of rice do we know that amount no let us assume that people used to buy a kg of rice correct now because of change in price people were able to buy 10 kg more right in that same 100 rupees what does that mean 100 rupees remain same so expenditure which is there 100 rupees it is remaining same now what is expenditure we have seen expenditure is nothing but amount of rice initially it was a kg right into what is the rate of the rice initially it was p rupees per kg rupees p per kg that we have assumed okay now in the second case when price was decreased how much amount of rice people used to, were able to buy a plus 10 kg because 10 kg more was possible for them in the same 100 rupees what was the price let's see now over here initial price is p 20 percent decrease is there in the price okay so 20 percent of p the price is reduced by 20% of P that is 20 upon 100 into P that is nothing but 0.2 P. So price reduces by 0.2 P rupees. So what is the final price now? P minus 0.2 P rupees that is nothing but 0.8 P rupees. This is the price new price. So put it over here. So now we know the expenditure is same. Let's calculate. P gets cancelled over here. What do we have? A equal to 0.8 A plus 10 into 0.8 is 8. Okay. Here we get 0.2 A is equal to 8. A would be equal to 8 upon 0.2 80 upon 2. That is nothing but 40. So 40 kg rice was possible for people to buy initially in rupees 100. So what would be the rate of price uh, rate of rice or the original price of rice? that is nothing but total amount total cost divided by total amount of rice so bill divided by the rice taken that would be 2.5 rupees per kg so rice was 2.5 rupees per kg originally okay and because of that people used to buy 40 kg rice in 100 rupees moving to question number 11 in an election which was contested by two candidates one candidate got 40% of total votes and yet lost by 1000 votes. What is the total number of votes casted in an election? Again, very, very easy. Let's see. There were two candidates. The first candidate, the second candidate. First candidate got 40% of the total votes. Let us assume that the total votes, let's see over here. Let us assume that the total votes that were casted were A. Okay. So, candidate one got 40% of A votes so that would be 40 a upon 100 right these were the votes cast, uh, which candidate one got now there are only two candidates is that right yes there was there any bogus voting or anything like that is is it given over there no there were two candidates one got 40 percent so remaining 60 percent who will get the second candidate second candidate got 60 percent votes so second candidate got 60 a upon 100 votes now what have they given is that the candidate who got 40 percent he lost by 1000 votes that means the second candidate got 1000 votes more than the first candidate so the first candidate okay got less 1000 1000 votes less than the first than the second candidate right so first candidate plus 1000 votes is nothing but the second candidate right this is 100 this is again 100 let's calculate let's see what the answer is 40a plus 1000 into 100 divided by 100 would be equal to 60a upon 100 this gets cancelled so we have 1000 into 100 equal to 20a 20 fives are a is 5000 so 5000 votes were casted in the election moving to next question question number 12 in a country 55 percent population is female 80 percent of the male population is literate 
how much of the females are literate if the total literacy is 58 percent again very easy we do not know population so let us assume that the population is 100 out of that how many are females 55 percent are females that means 55 percent of 100 that is 55 percent of 100 is nothing but 55 so 55 females are there so how many males are there now that is 100 minus 55 females that is 45 males what have they given 80 percent of the male population is literate that means literate males are nothing but 80 percent of male population what is male population 45 so 80 percent of 45 are literate so what do we get 80 upon 100 into 45 right 5 2 are 5 9 are 2 4 are 4 9 are 36 so 36 males are literate okay these are literate males what have they given on the right hand side they have given that the total literacy which is there is 58 percent total literacy is 58 percent that means out of 100 people 58 percent people are literate that means 58 percent of 100 since it is total literacy that is 58 people are literate out of 100 correct now if 58 people are literate out of 100 right we know that female literates plus male literates is nothing but the total literate population of the country we know total literate population of the country 58 we have just calculated it right we know the male literate population of the country 36 so what is the female literate population of the country it is 58 minus 36 22 so 22 females out of 55 females are literate now what we have to find is how much of females are literate okay in percentage we have to find it found find out why do we have to find out in percentage because no concrete value of population is given so we cannot write just 22 over here we have everything is given in percentage so answer has to be in percentage let's find out the percentage that is how much percent is quantity 1 of quantity 2 how much percent of literate how much percent is literate women of total women or how much percent is literate female to total female that is nothing but quantity 1 upon quantity 2 and since we want percentage so multiply by 100 what do we get 11 2s are 11 5s are 5 into 2 20 40 percent so 40 percent females are literate moving on if 20 percent of an electricity bill is deducted then rupees 100 is still to be paid how much was the original bill that means there was some original bill out of that 20 percent was reduced okay deducted subtracted so how much remains if 20 percent has been reduced 80 percent bill has to be paid correct and they have said that after reducing 20 percent still the person has to pay rupees 100 that means 80 percent of the original bill is nothing but rupees 100 80 percent of 80 percent of the original bill let it be b is nothing but 100 what do we get over here 2 4 are 2 5 are b is equal to 500 upon 4 what will you get over here 125 rupees so original bill is 125 rupees see how easy it was moving to question number 14 a's salary is 50 percent more than b's how much percent is b's salary less than a's again we do not know the salary so let us assume that b's salary is rupees 100 what is a's salary 50 percent more that is 50 percent of 100 that is nothing but 50 rupees more that would be 100 plus 50 rupees that would be rupees 150 so salary of a is 150 rupees salary of b is 100 rupees now what we have to find how much percent is b's salary less than a's okay this is not how much percent is b's salary as compared to a's salary if that would have been case what would have done so quantity 1 upon quantity 2 into 100 it would have been very easy but no this is not the case what do we want how much percent is B's salary less than A's salary? Okay, now here we know A's salary is 150, B's is 100. That means B has 
50 rupees less salary right so this change 50 rupees less now we have to express it into percentage as compared to a's salary so quantity 1 as compared to quantity 2 what is quantity 2 a's salary that is 150 and we want percentage so 100 what do we get 50 upon 150 into 100 that is this is 3 that would be 100 by 3 that is 33.33 so on percentage or you can write 33 1 by 3 percent so b's salary is 33 1 by 3 percent less than that of a let's revise this again let's see what the difference was from the previous sums here initially what we wanted what is 42 kg of 336 kg that means what is one quantity as compared to other quantity here what we want how much less is one quantity as compared to other quantity less that less which is there that makes us subtract the value and take only the difference and we have to take as compared to the second quantity right so we have 50 rupees that is so b salary is 50 rupees less so we have 50 divided by a salary into 100 and we got 33 1 by 3 percent moving to next question two numbers are less than a third number by 30 percent and 37 percent how much percent is the second number less than the first now two numbers are less by 30 percent and 37 percent respectively so let the third number be 100 so the first number is 30 percent less so first number is nothing but 100 minus 30 percent of the third number right that is nothing but 30 100 minus 30 is 70 so the first number is 70 second number is 37 percent less 100 minus 37 percent of 100 right 37 percent of 100 that would be nothing but 63 percent so 100 minus oh, 37 percent of 100 is 37 so 100 minus 37 is 63 so 63 is the second number 70 is the first number and third number is 100 now we want to find out how much percent is second number less than first so this is like the previous sum the less quantity is there how much is second number less than the first 70 minus 63 equal to 7 so second number is 7 less than the first number and we have to find how much less how much percent less it is so for percent what we do multiply by 100 how much less it is 7 as compared to what first number so what is the first number 70 what do we get this gets cancelled this gets cancelled we get 10 percent so the second number is 10 percent less than the first number see did you understand the concept of less uh, percent less than the first you just have to subtract take the difference and then find the percentage otherwise we have to take first quantity divide by second quantity and find the percentage moving to question number 16 10 percent of inhabitants of a village having died of cholera a panic set in during which 25 percent of the remaining inhabitants left the village the population is then reduced to 40 50 that is 4050 the number of inhabitants originally was okay again very easy do we know the population of the village no let us assume m was the population of the village 10 percent died of cholera so how many remain 100 minus 10 percent so 90 percent remain that is 90 percent of m so population that remained was 90 m upon 100 these many remained okay now what they have given out of the remaining that is out of this 90 90 m upon 100 25 left the village 25 percent left the village if 25 percent left how many percent are remaining still in the village 100 percent minus 25 percent that would be 75 percent of the remaining people of the remaining people remain in the village that is nothing but 75 upon 100 because percentage is divide by 100 multiply and this is of means multiply and this is nothing but the remaining people so these many people still are left in the village still are remain uh, still remained in the village now over here why did we take 100 percent minus 25 percent why did not we take 90 percent minus 25 percent see percentage is always subtracted from what from 100 percent here they have not said overall 25 percent left what they said was that whatever is the remaining population out of that 25 percent left 
so remaining population now we have to consider as 100% out of that 25% left and 75% remained so remaining people are 75 upon 100 into 90 m upon 100 but they have already given population was after these 25% left population was reduced to 4050 that means what 4050 people were only left in the village that is nothing but this value so these two are equal let's calculate let's see what we get the value as this gets cancelled 91s are 9 4s are 36 45 9 5s are 450 over here okay so what do we have 25 into 3 25 into 4 so let's solve what do we get m equal to 450 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 10 divided by 3 3 1s are 5s are 150 okay 15 150 into 4 600 6 thousand so total population originally was six thousand inhabitants see how easy percentage is you don't have to do anything you just have to remember that we have to multiply percentage means divide by 100 use common logic just read the question and you will be able to solve all the sums related to percentage in under one minute some of them might even take hardly 20 seconds with practice you will be able to solve guaranteed you will be able to solve all percentage sums by in hardly 45 seconds it should not go above one minute very easy this is very easy topic and helpful for scoring this is it for percentage tips and tricks if you liked it please give it a like and share it with others you can also leave your comments and suggestions below do let us know if you have some topic in mind and we will develop a video on it for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay updated for more such tutorials.